Hello everyone! Now we're gonna talk about a game with the name of Cards Get Ball. As you might guess, this game is played with flashcards and in a procedural basketball game. What we can say about this game is it's good for your kinesthetic learners who can't do without touching things and moving around. Now let's move on. For materials, a few flashcards and some paper balls are decent enough to play the game. Let's talk about the game procedure. First of all, you need to be at least four people to play this game. And secondly, there should be a basket of course. You can either use a person to become the basket itself or you can use a real basket for this. It's all up to you. And you need a person to show the cards to the players. To play this game, there should be at least two teams. Each team is in a queue in which students will do shots one by one. Let's say there are two teams as Team A and Team B. As you can see also, the basket is in the middle, which they will throw the paper balls in the basket. And there are two spots also. From spot one, you make three point shot. And from spot two, you do two point shot, which is easier and closer to the basket. Each student from each team waits for the flashcards to be shown to them to answer. Let's not forget, flashcards are counted as three points also. Let's say team B. Let's say a student from team A gave the right and the first answer to the flashcards. He gains the right to move forward to the spot 2. In addition to earning 3 points, if they make a 2 point shot, they earn total of 5 points. And let's say a student from team B didn't know the answer or didn't give the first answer to the flashcard. They will have to make a three-point shot from behind, which is further and harder to make. If they are not able to do three-point shot from further, further, they will gain no points. But if they are able to do this, they gain three points. Each score that each individual made is written down. And as you can see, the most scoring team wins. For example, team B scored 19 points. So they are the winner. Congratulations. Hello everyone. Now we have learned occupations and jobs. And let's play a game. You two are team. Team A and you two are team, team B. You know how to play? Let's start. Scientist. 